Hi, in this video I'm going to go through part B of question 1 on the Math 2015 paper. The question starts off by giving us this function f, where a is a real number and n is a positive whole number which is greater than or equal to 2. And then says if f of x and its derivative are both plotted on the same axis, then the number of intersections between the two graphs satisfy which of these conditions. Now the derivative of f, f dashed of x, is just going to be nx plus a to the n minus 1. So basically we've got another polynomial, but the degree has been reduced by 1. And so we know if n is even, then n minus 1 is odd. And if n is odd, then n minus 1 is even. So if f is an even function, then f dashed is an odd function. And similarly, if f is an odd function, then f dash is an even function. Right, so our functions will look something like this. One will look like this, and the other one will look like this. And they will both cross the x-axis at x is equal to, oh, sorry, that should be a minus a. So you can see immediately that there's going to be at least one intersection, because they're both going to cross at this point. And also, we can't have any crossings when x is less than minus a, because here is above the x-axis and here is below. Now, finally, we know that, so for when x is only a little bit bigger than minus a, the inside of these brackets is going to be very small. And so um, fx, because it's raised to a higher power, is going to be smaller than f dashed of x, because it has a smaller power. So initially, f will start off smaller than f dashed, but then when x gets very big, the inside of this bracket will get very big, and so f is going to be very large, and it's going to be much larger than f dashed x. So <clears throat> it's going to be something like this. So say so here is our graph. So if this is f dashed, then f is going to start off being smaller then eventually it's going to be much bigger. Sorry, that's very badly drawn. But you can see that there's going to be another intersection. So the answer is B. The number of intersections will always be even.